G'day, this is Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger 2.0. Today is October 27th. We're almost in the month of November, and soon it will be December. Ho, ho, ho! Here comes the snow. Anyway, let's take a look at this here now. We're looking at the pound yen. We're back to the 15-minute chart. Um, please excuse the little mistake I made the other day saying 500 pips in the last 50 days. It meant to say 5,000 pips in the last 50 days. Well, I'm sure you all you guys knew what I meant. So anyway, that was looking at the 4-hour. Um, you can even trade it on the daily. You can trade it on the weekly. You can trade it on the 4-hour. One hour, 30 minute, 15 minute, five minute, I wouldn't go there these days, but you can try. Some people even try in the one minute, so it's all your preference, right? All your preference. So anyway, we're back to the 15 minute now. So let's take a look. Um, we covered, what did we cover? We covered into, we covered into... Tuesday, right? See, it doesn't look so good here. Just looking back here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, here's Wednesday. So on Wednesday, on the pound yen, as you can see, we had a major obstacle here. And again, right? So you definitely um, coming down here. You would have looked for a buy. You would have bought it right there. Your stop would have been down here, okay? However, it did cross the line and it told you to get out. So if you would have got out, you would have got out with one loss, fifteen pips, okay? You definitely would have not bought it here because it bounced off resistance. You definitely wouldn't have sold it here because it bounced back up off support. Now, if you are brave enough to get in on this one, okay, like I say, when you lose one trade, usually you try one more trade, and this would have been the trade. Because you would not sold here, it needs to, or buy here, it needs to break through this resistance. It didn't do that. You wouldn't have sold here because it didn't break through here. Well, it broke here through here a couple pips, so, yeah, maybe you would have sold here, but I wouldn't have sold here because, for two reasons. Because it came down all this way, and support was so close, you don't want to sell close to support. You want to you want to buy or sell where it looks like there's a big, open, black space above. Then you know it's good to buy. If it was a big, black, you know, space like over here, to sell, to come down, then you sell. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to buy the dip, buy, buy low, and you're looking to sell high. That's what it's all about. Just like they say in the old stock age, stock market age. Okay? So, you would have lost 14 pips here. You would have got long here. There is 141 pips potential. Okay? Now, on Thursday, the trade was right in here. So, if we would have... Lock that in. Uh, maybe not yet. Draw a line here, okay? So you got support right here. Okay, here. It's one of those lines. I picked the wrong line. I like to draw them in right here. Okay. See right here? I wouldn't have sold here because it's bouncing off of this. Okay? Once this candle showed you, hello, hello. That's where you sell. So you wait for it to come back into the trigger line. You would have sold. You would have put your stop up here, 67 pips. Would have came down 46 pips, but if you would have held on and held on and held on, you would have got your 1 to 1 win-loss win ratio, and you would have got 2 to 1. Okay? So there's your winning trades for the pound yen. Let's look at that pound dollar. All right. Let's go back Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, right here. There's no trades in here. Look, there's no gap. There's no correct gap. There's just a bunch of crap right here. A bunch of going nowhere. 
right? And going nowhere again. There's one, there's the correct gap here, but you never would have sold it here because support was right there and it bounced off of support. So this was the trade right here to buy it. Boom, 106 pips potential. Here is the trade to sell it. Boom, went down like 180 pips, okay? And right now we're doing, we're in a buy trade right now, but I wouldn't do it right now because it's Friday. So there's two more successful, nice winning trades, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at the yen now. Go to Wednesday. Yeah, see, it's it's choppy. That's why I I'm 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 only looking at this thing on the four hour because it's just it's just too choppy. See, it would have told you to sell, 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 and you would have lost because it just went back up, back up, back up. So the trade is right here, you know, from last week, and it went up 170 pips, just like I showed you on the four hour on Tuesday. Now let's look at gold, okay? Take the auto scroll off, go back to Wednesday. So you had trade right here to sell, okay? And it went down 44 pips. And then you had a trade to buy right here. Okay. Cleared. Through all of this. Came back down. Boom, you would have bought it. Went up 74 pips. Then, as you can easily see, here's the sell. Came down through support. Right here, you would have sold it. And it went down 128 pips potential. Okay, you wouldn't have done this sell because it's just so close to support. You wouldn't have done this sell either. So right now there's a buy trade in play. Right here you would have bought it. You'd be up 20 pips right now. And that's pretty much it for the setups. We went through them all. So anyway, I just want to say once again, this is Jason Sweezy here from Forex Pip Snagger. 2.0. If you haven't picked up your copy yet, I urge you to cl click the link below this video. Um, also, I'd really appreciate it if you would, if you like this video, hit the like button on the below the video, and please subscribe to my channel. So then next time when the when I do a video, it will send you an email and whammo, you can watch the video. So anyway, thanks for watching. And you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.